Hello everyone, welcome back, and we're playing as Gilius, and I really like Gilius because he can do this pinball thing in the air and repeatedly bounce on enemies' heads, which is ultra useful against the flying enemies, as you might have guessed. He is the only character with some special kind of airborne attack. These upcoming enemies aren't too threatening. They mostly stand still and get hit a lot. But they do have an attack we have to effectively work to dodge. And we have to stop attacking while they use it or else we'll get caught up and then get smashed. Yeah, this one. If we get too distracted fighting while they do that, they'll land on us. And it does a whole ton of damage, as you might expect. It's really easy to die right here, and I don't think I've ever gone here and not died. I always seem to get knocked into the pit. But that is A-OK. -okay. We have more than enough continues to finish the game with. It's dangerous to use Gilius' pinball move while there's a pit nearby, for obvious reasons. He can just bounce right into it. Probably could have used this health guy before I died. Like most airborne enemies, the Harpy's function is basically just to be annoying and trick you into being more aggressive when you really don't want to do that. The hardest part about fighting these enemies is switching your attention evenly between them so one of them doesn't sneak up behind you and mash you with the boulder. I say it's the hardest part, but it's still not particularly difficult. They can also hurt each other with their boulders, though getting them to do that is kind of dangerous. You might think all these gnomes mean there's a boss coming up, and there is, but it's it's a mini-boss, and we've already seen it before. We've actually seen these two before, but we didn't bother to fight them as Tyrus because she's not very well equipped for them. Gilius totally is, though. His special attack has a whole ton of range, so we can just stand back and use it over and over. They have a whole ton of range, too, though, as you're observing. So we have to get in just the right position. I like Gilius' special attack the most, even more than Tyrus's, just because you're so far out of danger when you use his... Now this guy, this guy is actually pretty dang tough. The normal strategy of coming at him from up or down doesn't work, he just smashes us. He can actually combo us and juggle us in the air if we attack him head on. The solution here is a quick dashing charge or dashing jump attack. Any attempt at close range combat at all is not going to end well. And if you don't keep moving constantly, he throws his hammers at you, as you've seen. I like when the boulder enemies hit him. It's pretty funny. Dodging attacks in this game is really, really fun. You don't get a lot of opportunity in traditional style beat-em-ups to dodge, so I like to make use of that a lot whenever I get the opportunity. Or it's just us and him. And we know how to deal with him, so he's not that big a deal, really. That was a really dumb decision on my part. So was that. I made the mistake of trying to show off the inferior strategy of hitting him on the head. Even though it does more damage, it puts you at a lot more risk. You really just want to dash and charge at him.
With Gilius, we want all stats all the time because he's already super durable. He's the character with the most health. We want all of those stats. Make him invincible. Welcome to the Ice Grotto. The Ice Grotto has ice-themed enemies, which can freeze you in place. And they'll do that a whole lot. And it sucks. It leaves you very vulnerable to attack. These enemies have a whole lot of offensive and defensive options. But they're not invincible to smacking them while they're down. So basically the idea is to charge at them and then slice away when they get back up. I think it's neat that there's a freezing effect at all, considering how little it appears in the game. This is an ice dragon, and it allows us to freeze enemies, and then we can dash and charge into them while they're frozen. And it's really fun. I think this is the only place it appears in. Which is unfortunate, but we're going to make very good use of it. Hey look, it's a flying plague! These things are basically cannon fodder. They go down in one hit and we don't really need to worry about them at all. You remember Bitter Knight. He's got two skeleton buddies this time, but unlike in the original Golden Axe, the skeletons are basically zero threat. I really want my Ice Dragon back, though. could get off of it. Like I said, we're going to use it as much as we possibly can, because this is the only place it appears at. You already know how fighting this guy goes, he's easy as pie. 